All right, I'm working some more with the Hartley oscillator circuit that runs on the low, low power. And uh, the author here said that you could put in something right here that could vary the uh, input signal and basically modulate it. So what I have here is I have a radio picking up a signal from that antenna. And the Hartley oscillator circuit is running on a concrete battery being fed by a signal from that CD player. So the CD player is sending a signal into the circuit right there. The Hartley oscillator is uh, doing its thing and sending out a signal here to the radio that picks up the signal and amplifies it. And uh, the power to make this happen, of course, is uh, at the radio and at the uh, signal generator, but the oscillator is being run by that concrete battery, and it puts out about a volt, uh, milliamp or less. Yeah, you saw my video a couple of videos ago. I worked a lot with the Slayer Exciter and this, and then decided to try this to see if it would modulate a uh, audio signal um, and transmit it, and it does. Now I can vary this right here with this or that. That's a variable capacitor. That's a variable inductor. Here's the signal going in and out of phase. It's like something. It'll pick something up like that. Now I can I can get near that antenna and affect it quite a bit too. You know, I've had a lot of fun with this Hartley oscillator circuit. It's a very, very simple circuit, and it was posted by Cooler. And uh, the original author was Four Sims or Mims, and he published a bunch of Radio Shack books. And this is out of one of those books. And uh, this is a very, very old circuit, and very, very simple. And it works.